One man cannot destroy our progress. One man can't stop our clean energy revolution. And one man can't go back in time. Only I can do that. President Trump says he's pulling out of the Paris Climate Agreement. My message to you, Mr. President, is that as a public servant, especially as a president, your first and most important responsibility is to protect the people. 200,000 people die every year in the U.S. from air pollution. And that half of our rivers and streams are too polluted for our health. We can't sit back and just do nothing while people are getting sick and dying, especially when you know there's another way. Mr. President, I know that it can be easier and more comfortable to look backwards. And to many people, the past we know is less scary than the future that we don't know. But some of us know what a clean energy future looks like. And it isn't scary. We have seen it in cities and states and all over the world. In fact, we know that the dirty energy future with asthma, emphysema, and cancer is much, much more terrifying. So please, Mr. President, choose the future. No one remembers the people who told President Kennedy not to go to the moon. We remember the great leaders. The great leaders that don't walk backwards into the past, but great leaders that charge forward towards the future. You see, the people will rise up. Local and state governments will rise up. Other leaders from local government will rise up and fill the void that you are creating. Like all the great movements in human history, our clean future starts with the grassroots movement in our communities, our cities, and our states. 70% of our dirty emissions can be controlled at the state and local level. We can't leave it to Washington, D.C. to lead, no. We need to do it ourselves. As a matter of fact, when I was governor of California and Washington failed to lead, we passed the strictest environmental rules in our country, and our economy is now booming. Today, we are number one in protecting our environment, and we are number one in economic growth. We have the cleanest air and water, and we also have more manufacturing jobs than any other state. We added more jobs last year than the second and the third states combined. Protecting the environment will not destroy our economy. The bottom line is great environmental policies do the opposite. They pump up the economy. Share this video if you think it's time to start a grassroots revolution to save our planet.